Hello, Patrick here from the garagebandguide.com. And yes, I have decided to do the first on camera video in seven years, two days after cutting my own hair. I bloody love GarageBand for iOS. It's brilliant. I've been covering GarageBand for iOS on the GarageBand Guide since 2013, and it's been great to see it go from what was a pretty limited app to begin with into a fully fledged mobile digital audio workstation. That said, it definitely isn't perfect, and there's one limitation in particular that we're going to look at in this video and see if we can fix. Apple added the visual EQ to GarageBand for iOS back in 2017 as part of their overhaul of the app's UI and feature set. It resembles the visual EQ in GarageBand on Mac and Logic Pro 10, albeit with a few big downgrades. You only have three EQ points to work with two shell filters and one bell filter. This really limits your options. If you're mixing things like vocals or guitars, the lack of a low cut filter, for example, which removes all frequencies below a specified frequency cutoff, is going to cause you some issues and result in your mixes sounding dull and muddy. You also can't adjust the Q value of your three EQ points. The Q value determines how wide or narrow the curves around an EQ point are. A higher Q value affects a narrower range of frequencies. And a lower Q value affects a wider range of frequencies. In GarageBand's Visual EQ, the Q value is set really, really low and there's no way to change it. So you're left working with these huge frequency curves that only allow you to affect your sound in broad strokes as opposed to being able to fine tune problem frequencies. The one saving grace of GarageBand's visual EQ is the analyzer. When activated, it gives you a real time visual representation of the frequencies at play in your track. This is great for identifying problem frequencies at a glance, but ultimately frustrating as GarageBand lacks the tools to properly deal with said issues. Here's a demo of a vocal track, first with no EQ applied, and then with GarageBand's visual EQ applied. Pick up the pieces and put me back together. What makes you think that this is any better? Pick Use up the pieces and put me back together. What makes you think that this is any better? And use the glue. So GarageBand's visual EQ is less than stellar. Luckily, there are some really good third-party AUV3 apps that can fill the gap. LRC5 is a completely free EQ plugin that gives you a whole lot more control over your audio than GarageBand's stock visual EQ. LRC5 includes low shelf, high shelf, and three parametric peak filters. By tapping on and holding on an EQ point, you can select from several fine control options, allowing you to drag and drop EQ points with pinpoint accuracy. You can also adjust the Q value of each point here, which lets you target and eliminate problem frequencies with ease. The only downside of LRC5 is a lack of analyzer, so you'll need to use your ears to identify those problem frequencies. On the premium side of things, Visual EQ Console is a fantastic, fully featured AUV3 EQ app that is really like a supercharged version of GarageBand's basic visual EQ. It has high and low pass filters, shell filters, four fully adjustable parametric EQ points, as well as a built-in spectrum analyzer. 
you have full control over the Q value of your EQ points, and it even has built-in compressors and limiters. Okay, so let's throw all of those in together at the same time. Here's that same vocal demo again with no EQ applied, then with GarageBand's visual EQ applied, then again with LRC5's EQ applied, and then finally with the visual EQ console's EQ applied. And let me know in the comments which one you think sounds best. Pick up the pieces and put me back together What makes you think that this is any better? And use the glue Pick up the pieces and put me back together what makes you think that this is any better? What makes you think that this is any better? And use the glue that you've used a hundred times before. Empty words that I swore Pick up the pieces and put me back together What makes you think that this is any better? And use the glue that you've used a hundred times before Empty words that I swallow whole So there you have it. That's how to deal with some of the shortcomings that come along with GarageBand's stock Visual EQ. Both of the EQ apps mentioned in this video are available from the App Store. LRC5 is free and Visual EQ Console is $5.99. I'll put links to both of those in the description below. If you're just getting started with GarageBand for iOS or just want a refresh on the basics, you can pick up my free 38-page guide, Getting Started with GarageBand. You'll find a link to that down below as well. I've been Patrick from thegaragebandguide.com and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.